we're back home with Bucky after 21 days of traveling. And man, does he need a bath. We washed him several times along the way, but he's got dirt in places he's never had. So I'm going to run him up to Kenny and get a good detailed job on him today, especially the inside. Because man, after living in there for 21 days, it needs it. One of my favorite parts of the build was this water system. If you haven't seen that, check it out. Now, when I started doing this project, you know, my girl gave me pretty much three or four things that she had to have. And one of them was be able to take a hot shower every night and hot water. Well, it really wasn't that hard to make that happen. Once I figured out the water system, the hot water heater is a $99 order off of Amazon, uh, runs off two AA batteries, or excuse me, two D cell batteries. Uh, we burned through several of those, so make sure you take a lot. I believe we use the For You brand. Um, not sure. Um, we pretty much built the entire truck off of either Walmart.com, Amazon.com, or going to our local Walmart. Or um, I go up to the IGA up here close to us. It has a True Value hardware in it, so um, that's where we've gotten just about everything. And now on our trip, we stopped at Lowe's and fixed a couple little things. We needed a bolt here. Uh, Lowe's even, even the garden center guy even filled up our water for us one time once he saw that I had a, a Lowe's MVP card with me. Um, great guys at Lowe's, they, they, uh, they filled us up with 28 gallons in a place that we were trying to figure out where to get water and he volunteered it, man, and just, it made, made us, made our day. So Chuck, you're the man. Now, this item was also one of the, the most talked about. Everywhere we went, it seemed like somebody would ask about it. Um, the first place we camped, Arkansas, we ran to these guys from, uh, from Walmart. Uh, several of them worked for Walmart Corporate, I believe. And, and I really wish I had a, got that first guy's name because he bought all the air fresheners for Walmart. And after 21 days, this truck needs an air freshener, I can tell you that. We lived in it, we kept everything in it, and you know, wet clothes, dirty clothes, stinky socks, it's all been in there for 21 days, man. And, and 6,000 miles of us riding in it and air conditioning pumping. And, yeah, it, it is great, comfortable truck, but man, it, it needs a little help. So I really wish I had got that guy's number. But, you know, everybody seems to ask about this. And uh, so I'm gonna show you today exactly how we did it. I'm not gonna be one of those guys that shows you what I got and, and you gotta figure out how you get it. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do step by step everything I've done on this rig so you can build it yourself. I figured out what I needed and got everything together first, then laid it out on the table and wrapped all my fittings in Teflon and got all my copper grommets in place for the PEX tubing. That's the easiest way for me to do it is to lay it out and see how everything's going to work and how it's going to lay out. I measured it in the truck bed and made sure that everything would fit like it's supposed to. Here's the hot water system and we did end up ordering a longer hose. We got an eight foot hose so we could pull it out further away from the truck. It allows us to wash dishes with it a lot easier. So the next thing is to just screw it all together and make sure you pay attention to everything and get it all tight. Um, the PEX attachments make it so much easier and I did use a few shark bite pieces underneath the truck just to make everything go together easier without having to get the, the PEX tool up under there to crimp. You can see I added a mesh screen up under there as well to keep anything out of the water that we're getting through the pump. So. It's easy to change where it's in the bed of the truck, so that makes it nice. Once it was all together, I put it in the truck so I could make sure everything fit right and then got ready to drill my hole. I started with a smaller bit first and then once I checked the down bottom and made sure nothing was going to be a problem, I switched to a larger bit. I polished up the hole and made sure it wouldn't do any, any damage to the PEX pipe as it went through. Test fit went great, so then it was time to move on underneath the truck. 
After running the PEX underneath the cab, over the muffler, and insulating it, it was then time to figure out where I wanted it to come out in my step on the side of the truck. I tried the top, I tried the side, and decided on the final location. I then put it back in there and marked it so that I could get the hole just right. Checked behind, made sure there was nothing in the way, and then started drilling. After cutting the pipe to length, I began fitting the shark bite washing machine valve onto the end and making sure it was extremely tight, as far seated as it could possibly be. Then I affixed that to the side of the step wall. This gave me a nice secure fit and an easy way to turn the valve on with just a quarter turn up and down. Here's the final install spot for the pump. Uh, going through the floor, you see I used the copper crimp to make sure it didn't sink any farther. So the next job was to move on to the wiring. I had installed this gooseneck expansion box where I can plug it in my gooseneck hitch inside my truck at the back and have all the functions available to me right here. It was a simple matter of running the wiring over running it through and connecting it to the right, positive right. and the always on positive and the negative so that my water always works even when the truck is off it works so that's very very nice makes a big difference for me so with the wiring connected I'm ready to show you what we've got going on down here first we've got the gas line we've got the hitch and of course we've got the water over here now, all this allows me to put a hanger on the side of the truck, and we just hang the hot water heater right there. And then we've got eight foot of reach with our hot gas water coming, and you know, it's instantaneous. It only takes like two seconds. So it's really convenient, and this is really interesting. I'll make two more videos. I'm gonna show you how to do that hitch yourself and to run that gas line safely. And now that moment that everybody's been waiting for, it just runs and runs at five gallons a minute. And you size it by the size of the pump. If you want 10 gallons a minute, you can get a bigger pump. Five gallons a minute is way more than we need and the hot water heater only handles about three. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I did this to my rig and I hope you can figure out how to do something like this yours if you're so inclined. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of pride once you get it done and man, being able to take a shower in a tent like this, it's priceless. <laughs>